profit instead of the human life value. And yeah, some people might say, well, no one forces you to eat it. No, they don't. But again, the greatest drug that's on the market right now is food. If you think I'm BSing, go into your cabinets, go into your refrigerator, look anywhere and everywhere that you keep food and go down the list of ingredients and look up the definition of some of these long ass unpronounceable goddamn words. I guarantee you, you're going to be surprised about some of the stuff that's in our food. I just think that the pharmaceutical companies, along with the medical industry, work hand in hand. And I think that we as citizens of this nation, we we let too much fly even though we have people who supposedly are in position to protect us. I think it's a real shame. Slide yourself over a bit, not in the camera all the way. Say again? I said slide over a little bit, you're not in the camera all the way. Oh, okay. Um, when it comes to that, I'm going to venture to say that it's never going to change. Um, And I say that because to a degree, it doesn't matter who you put in these positions to make things right, so to speak, beneficial. The thing about it is no one is exempt from greed. No one is exempt from favors. No one is exempt from the quest for power anywhere in the world. So one, that's the problem. That's one problem. Um, Another problem that I see, and again, this could be an assumption on my part because I don't know it all, um, is that we all are searching for a cure for something and it does not matter what it is. Um, and again, you know, when, when I, uh, when I compare a lot of stuff as far as pharmaceuticals to like vaccines and stuff, you know, you have people anti-vaccine this, anti-vaccine that, but when you look at these TV commercials with all these pharmaceuticals that they offer and they give you a laundry list of side effects ain't nobody complaining about those but they complaining about vaccines nobody is complaining about cigarettes and all the health issues that they cause but they complaining about vaccines no one is complaining about the toxins that are being pushed in the air but they're complaining about vaccines no one is complaining about the pesticides that they're putting on fruits and vegetables but they're complaining about vaccines, you know, and it's this whole lopsided thing in our society. And it's like, again, pharmaceuticals is they, a lot of them are, you know, they have too many damn side effects, but everybody treats them as wonder drugs. Um, When you look at cancer treatment, um, the radiation and stuff, We all know what radiation does to the human body. It ain't cute. It ain't, it ain't, it's not without pain. Um, It cause it has a lot of side effects, but nobody is really complaining about them because they want to be cured of cancer. You know, so again, it's this pharmaceutical thing that is, crazy out there um but hey it's modern technology so i mean i guess we can go ahead and get into the meat of this conversation all right bet it up then so why are those so why are there so many options for pharmaceutical products 
Um, I'm going to have to say, because there, there is, there are so, you know what? I don't even know why there are, well, I know why there are so many pharmaceutical companies, but at the same time, I 